What is up, everybody? We are here for Tatsunoko versus Capcom at Frosty Faustings 16. I am Dr. Science. I'm J.M. Crofts. How's it going, everybody? Can you guys can you guys hear us in the room or just on the? No. Okay, oh, that's okay, too bad. Okay, okay. I know we had that technology last I year. I know. I was gonna start yelling. Get I actually on. I got to ask people to make some noise last year. That, it's like. One no, of the, one, no one man should have all that power. <laughs> one of the high points of my life. But we are here once again. We had a great bracket today, and we are down to the top eight. That is right. We are bringing you the entire top eight of Tatsunoko versus Capcom. And we're starting off with a hot one. Yes, this is going to be a pretty scary one here. We got, of course, one of the ultimate threats of this game, KBs. Yeah. Uh, the, the probably winningest uh, TVC player in history, I would have to say. Yeah. Yeah, and he's going up against Empty Shiki, who's our Chicago local. Yeah. Been uh, tearing through the bracket today. Made a couple of, I don't know if you want to call them upsets, but at least high profile victories. And uh, now he's up here on the winner's side against KBs. Yeah. So we'll see if he can keep it going or if KBs is going to, you know, uh, show off that normal type of dominance that he has. KBs playing the same characters that. He's always played forever. Although yep. we have seen some character choice for the anchor pick, you know. Uh, sometimes we do uh, see Morgan as well from KBs, right? Yeah, yeah. So Yatter One Batsu is kind of like the classic KBs team, yeah. which is sort of leans on Yatter One landing a hit and then VAR into Batsu, who does an insane VAR damage with his sidekick loops. Uh, Morgan is when he's looking to exert a little more neutral presence up front, maybe doesn't feel as comfortable with just the uh, the Batsu back up by the, the or by the Yatter one backed up by the bot to assist. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'll see what he decides to go with here. Um, we are looking at this, this beautiful training mode screen. Looks like they're good. They got the thumbs up, and we're going to be getting in there with our first match. All right, should be hype, guys. Let's go, yo. Th this game is still sick after all these years. Yeah, new tech being discovered all the time. People are getting more and more optimal. Yeah, Empty Shiki, also a, a Yatter One player, goes with the Ipatsu Man on. Uh... Yeah, so double Tatsunoko versus double Tatsunoko. Let's, Let's go. go. Crowd's getting hype out there. Ipatsu's not a Tatsunoko character. Damn it, you're right. You're <laughs> right. My bad. It's just that we never see him, you know? He's not. Capcom forgot that Project Justice existed. Joined here by JM Fraud. I know, bro. He's not, a, he's not a real fan. My bad, right. my bad. Chat. Walking forward menacingly. Bro. Oh, yeah. we deep. These normals from Yatter One, this is really what the character's all about. Did you see that? An anti air. Cross under. Cross yeah. under, crouching jab. jab into the combo, but a little Abare there with some jabs of her own. Shiki wants to keep Woo! his pressure going in the Woo! corner. That was a him. nice combo. Ah, trying to get the run unblockable. Okay, picks it right back up. Yeah, that Yatter's been such a potent tool. Anytime it hits close to the ground like that, you're quick enough, you can get a combo. It's kind of funny, both these teams really want to land that VAR. If you land it with a Patsu Man, you'll get the chance to go for the oh, oh, no. No. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Look at the red life and empty Shiki's Patsu Man just melts just oh, like that. Oh, 50 50 there on incoming. Yeah, KB's back in the lead. And he's going to be trying to go coast to coast with this one. Drops it. Yeah, overhead though. And then again, and the anti air crouch jab. Shiki spends the burst, but he's low on life now. One more touch from KB is going to do this. Hitting on the back side of the, of the crouching A right there. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Oh, there it is. Wow. And no burst available for empty Shiki. It looked like he was in a good spot there for a while, but left himself without burst, unfortunately. And KB took advantage with that huge Baroque. Turned the tide of that whole match. Yeah, I mean, I was talking about that VAR, but uh, the VAR ended up being a mistake because then he didn't have the meter necessary to yeah. escape from that massive chunk of Baroque. Yeah. That is tough. That's one of the main things to look out for in this game. If you look down at the super bars down there, two super meters means you can burst. So if you're at not that much, you're going to be eating the combo. Yeah, and burst, uh, super powerful. You know, it can be baited with Baroque, but it's pretty difficult to do. Yeah. And you can even combo up burst in the corner, build some of that meter back. So yeah, burst, very, very potent. Two meters is the magic number. Yeah, and Yatter one, like we talked about, that Yatter spin, uh, he can threaten with it. Ooh, Ooh what an anti-air. At 6H? Let's go. Ooh. Unfortunately, drops the follow-up combo. Yeah, uncharacteristic drop from KBs. Empty Shiki hanging on to the meter paid off. Oh, my God. Oh, almost had that conversion. It's all right, though. Keep the pressure going. Nice. Ooh. Forces the burst out of KB. So now Empty Shiki, pretty significant meter advantage. Could potentially land a big hit here if he manages to find the touch on KBs. 
KB's trying to uh, build a little bit of meter though with those air fireballs. Oh, that could have been punishable if he hadn't push blocked, actually. Yeah, empty Shiki. Not gonna have any Baroque, so the explosive damage potential won't be there. But of course, we do have the Apotiman VAR threat. Oh, oh almost. almost. Yeah, converting off stray hits in this game is so hard. Yeah, empty Shiki has to burst there. Oh, doesn't get the unblockable. Almost had the follow up. First yeah, again. has to burst to keep momentum there. Relaunch, gonna build a lot of meter here. Oh, VAR. yeah. This again puts him in that situation, though, although this time at least both players without their burst for a right. little while now. Yeah, KBS has a decent amount of red, but probably not 100%. They land the hit. Yeah, Batu should be dead to this loop. Doesn't need nice. to spend any meter at all. That's huge. So this incoming mix. Oh! Ooh, the run DP. Rare options. Yep. Nice, KBS. and he lands the early hit. About KBS. to get first, though. Gets Whoa! Oh, actually managed to bait the Whoa, first down. That's going to be a game for Empty Shiki. We are 1-1, one, one, and unlike last year, we are running two out of three here up until finals. Yeah. So Empty Shiki is one game away from knocking KBs down to losers. We are going to be cooking through these matches, guys. This is a crazy one. Seems like KBs may be uh, struggling to adapt to the both the setup and the pressure being on the big screen in front of the crowd. A couple uncharacteristic drops from KBs whose execution is usually so immaculate. Oh, there it is, though. The first hit and immediately goes for that VAR. Yeah, this is what we expect from KBs. Gets the knockdown in the corner, but guess is wrong on the rollout. Empty Shiki gets a chance to go back to neutral here. Okay. Yeah. Lands a hit back, though. That jab. Oh! Whoa! Spicy little reset there. Going back the other way. Is he going to go for the VAR here? No! There's the Baroque Unblockable. Baroque Unblockable reset. Gets out of the uh, the burst. Not that he was able to punish it, but uh, yeah. Okay! Look at the meter deficit here as well. Empty Shiki is so far ahead right now. Oh! Ooh. Tries to go for some fancy stuff. Unfortunately, spends two meters there. Doesn't yeah. really get anything out of it. Not the end of the world, though. Still three left. KB's about to get a burst available. Ooh, slapping the assist. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, and he's right about back to burst meter again. So, yeah, like, I mean, honestly, this that's is fine. some insane Spends tech it. right here. He's up on KB significantly right now. He just now. jumps out of the cross-up mix-up as well. Yeah. The tiniest sliver of Baroque is available for Empty Shiki. Ooh, trying to snipe from full screen. No hits so far. Empty Shiki only really needs one to take out this Yatter one, and yeah. then he's uh, in the home stretch. And he's okay, there it is! Anti-air launcher is so powerful for Yatter one. Spends it, Burst trying to get, it. oh no! Grabs him and takes out the Yatter one. The two meters completely wasted trying to yeah. get red life there. I that hope that burst doesn't come back to bite Empty Shiki here. It's gonna be a long way to get that second meter. Ooh, scary stuff. Tardy counter. Drops it, but no punish. Another tardy counter. Oh my Empty God. Empty Shiki just running now has two meters, so things are a lot more safe now. KB's can burst, but KB's gonna be down to it again. KB's not quite able to connect. Oh, and there's the unblockable. KB's does land a hit. He has to burst, but it's down yeah. to just pixel life for KB's. Any chip will yeah. do that for Empty Shiki. Avoid the baseballs. A huge the baseballs just the baseballs. And Empty Shiki knocks KB's down to the losers in our first bracket match here in top eight. Is Empty Shiki on a run or what? Look Empty at Shiki, he's been on a run today. I was talking about it before he, he went through his meditation. He went through Dawa Dawa on the way up here. And now through KB. It's absolutely insane. So now there is a threat awaiting in losers. Side. Whoever gets through is going to have to play Oh KBs. my god, KBs and losers? Oh man, I would just give up. <laughs> <laughs> but our next two players are not going to want to give up either. Yeah, um, so these, these two are training partners. These are the Blade Bros. We're going to yeah. get a Tekaman Blade Ryu mirror match here between Buku and Captain Nick. Buku was a sort of long time uh, Blade Ryu player. And yeah. then Captain Nick as well, when he was getting into playing the game competitively, uh, looked to Buku to get advice, some matches, things like that, learn about how to play the team. And now here the two of them are both on winner's side of the bracket, but it's gonna have to be a team kill. Yeah, it is the mirror match here. Mm -hmm. Tekaman Blade, one of the other top tiers. I feel like the, the big three of this game really is like zero, Yotter one, Tekaman Blade. Yes. 
Yeah. Maybe you ought to want a little below the other two, or at least requiring a little bit more. Uh, requires more execution, more execution, but I mean, it's kind of up in the air. I feel yeah. like if you really play him optimally, he's just as good, if not better, than you know the, those other two. Yeah. So, so Tekka Blade, massive normals, good projectiles. Perhaps the best damage in the game. Definitely up there, most damage. Oh, he's damage. got the most damage in the game, yeah. for sure. Great mix-ups, great damage. He's got armor on some of his normals for yeah. some reason. Yo. <laughs> Yo. They're dancing. And then, yeah, they're both going to be going with Ryu assist. Yeah, they, well, this might be a blood check here. I don't think that's a, that's a real Chun-Li there. The, the Ryu point character pick. Point yeah, Ryu. they are button checking. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Tekken Man, Blady Patsu Man, though, you know, fun fact, as long as it's up there on the screen, that was Buku's original team no. when he started playing off. Uh, but uh, Tekken Man Blade really benefits from that fireball yeah. assist, you know, because he's got that Virgil-style rapid slash, makes it really ambiguous with the fireball. You also can't challenge it. Yeah. So right after they get this uh, button check here, I would expect them to go in and both pick uh, Tekken Man Blade. I love his stage song. Can we can we play that stage song max volume? Do you think you're best? <laughs> I know, that's what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All we'll right. see what we get. They might random it again. See. They're asking about the stage selection. Oh, they're going to pick it. Let's oh, go. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We're getting it back. <laughs> what? The, yeah, the troll, the troll light hand. I heard hover. the click. I thought that it was the, the light hand going, in, but it was uh, it was right. fine. Yeah, look at this blade blue versus Ryu. green matching colors. Blade Bros getting in there. <laughs> the big manly handshake. Uh, yeah. Oh look, they got y'all matching, <laughs> matching matching pins. Oh, Shout my. out to Wave John for the for the new TVC merch again this year. That's sick. All right, wait, we're doing Ryu start? Ryu start for Captain Nick? I've seen both of them go Ryu start. I'm not sure, you know, what the thought is, but ooh, tries to go for an early BAI. Wow, just clipped overhead by Buku here. Yeah, yeah. that's a full combo. Look at this. We're trying for the big boy oh, damage. Drops it. Could have had the full kill there. I, I mean, Tekka Man Blade, uh, what a, pretty much the only character who can guarantee TOD yeah. in this game. Yeah, outside of things like Baroque Unblockable, but yeah. Captain Nick spent all that Baroque. Now losing the character, no opportunity for a raw attack to get the health back or anything. Ooh, oh, and the empty low. Tekka Man played with that hover dash and the opportunity to go for that. Yeah, air to air with the jumping pizza cutter here. Oh, a little footsies there. Doubt that push block punish. Tekka Man Blade definitely has the range to do stuff like that. Yeah, this should probably. Oh, drops. Okay, I jinxed it. Commentator's curse. My apologies. Yeah, not a whole lot Captain Nick can do here, though. He's got a, a mountain to climb, but, you know, that's step one. Yeah, smashing through. Got a lot of bursts to get through. The thing is, you can't really spend your Baroque here. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, but when you're mid screen like that, you don't get a full pick up off the overhead. Yeah, the, anytime Captain Nick presses Baroque, it's got to be burst burst, there. So. And the cross up. That's what we were talking about. That uh, that rapid slash tight move. I think it's called a falchion or a cat's bulger or something. <laughs> I can't remember which one's. It's just rapid slash. Yeah, it's rapid slash. When you follow it up with that fireball, you can't contest it. Yeah, it, it's kind of funny that Virgil came out after Tekka Blade, but we've taken all the Virgil, Virgil terms Blade. and like reverse applied them. Apply them retroactively. Yeah, Helmbreaker, yeah. rapid slash. It's all in there, guys. It's all in there. Uh, yeah, using that fireball to control space, so important. Okay, this time Captain Nick does start out with the Tekka Man Blade. Not sure if that was uh, on purpose or not last time. He might have accidentally been holding the party. Yeah, it could, coming in or could be. All right, yeah, gets the relaunch combo here. Yeah, oh, he's there, so we're going back up God. again. There ain't no way. Not okay, going to go yeah. for the super, super there. Super wouldn't have killed. Yeah. Yeah, Attack of Man Blade on top of some of the most damage in the game also has some of the most health in the game. So, wouldn't have killed, but Buku does land the throw Ooh. there, which takes out the Attack of Man Blade. It's just the Ryu once again for Captain. Yeah, Man. this is tough. It's gonna. Ooh, okay. Okay, there's an unblockable. Oh, oh goes for it there. Other side, but just reversal throw. Ooh, a little air shimmy there. Ooh, oh, no. oh, no. Looking a little nervous out there, maybe. And yeah. That is going to be yeah. it. Buku taking a quick 2-0 over Captain Man. The hearty handshake to close things out here. Yeah, the Tekka Blade team kill. You hate to see it.
Yeah, shout out to those two. They also both travel for this tournament. You know, Buku from Texas, Kevin Nick from Florida, coming off here from Rock and Bowser. Unfortunately for everyone this year, whether or not as bad as it is in some years. It, for, for January in Chicago, it's downright balmy. It's like 40 degrees out there. Not just January in Chicago. I feel like Frosty Fousting's weekend yes. specifically, it's we cursed, always get yeah. like a blizzard and like you know, half of the flights in the U.S. are canceled uh, yeah. or something. Well, it, it was like below zero last year. Yep. And then two years ago was the blizzard. The more yep, yep, yep. By the way, guys, we have we have uh, deck we have decor as well. Check this out. We're we're decorating, and, and this is the this is my favorite. Is we got these little charms? Is is that insane or what? Sorry, it's out of focus, but it's it's the game. It's it's literally tiny it's literally copies <laughs> of Tatsunoko versus Capcom. <laughs> That's so sick, dude. I've I've been I've been dying at the un, the unofficial TVC merch. Yeah, uh, shout outs once again to MG Shiki, not only in top eight, but also bringing these cool figures back from Japan as prizes for our top three. Wow, yeah, that's sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny to remember that, like, you know, this is actually like a crossover game. So in my mind, it's like, yo, the Tatsunoko characters are just from this game. <laughs> from this game. You know, but of course they they have anime fans for people who know them who are who are uh, big appreciators of the characters. Yeah, yeah sneak in there. So yeah, we'll be moving down to the loser side. Yep, uh, we're going down to the loser side, and we have. Uh, speaking of the TV, the great uh, Frosty Fosty Blizzard, Meta Turtle, who's going to be coming up here next, got snowed out, couldn't make it a couple oh, years ago. Oh yeah, uh, out here from New York. Love to see him back. He's uh, our Bijo player in in residence. And then James, who has not made it out to a live tournament before this ever. Oh, wow. Longtime Netplay Warrior, shows up really well at a lot of the online tournaments, plays Frank West and Rolf. We love to see it. Yeah, that is a sick team. It but, is a uh, super sick team. Met Met Eternals team as well, uh, having a character who for several years was considered very bad, one of the worst in the game, Beautiful Joe. Uh, but then slowly we all started to realize, like, wait a minute, Beautiful Joe's kind of cracked. Like, High damage, long combos, good zoning. Uh, World's good fastest normals. overhead. Yeah, fast overhead, high, low, really strong. So he's like a kind of an awkward character. Oh, yeah, and he has small body privilege. Like, he drops out of some combos, too. So Yes, yes he does. Uh, yeah, like, all that adds up. He might not be, you know, absolutely top tier, but he's definitely a contender. Select your heroes. Uh, and then Frank West roll. Frank West uh, still considered, you know, a, a relatively weak character, but a damaging character. He's one of those characters who he can definitely struggle, but he can also just kill you off of a hit. So you it's, always have to be really scared of him. Yeah, especially with that roll assist, it opens him up for things like his knee drop that give hard knockdown. Roll gives him the opportunity to pick up off that into his huge damage combos. He's one of the only characters in the game that has a true infinite. Yeah, right. And yeah, you can see that roll. She throws the water, and then there is going to be a puddle remaining there oh. that you have to be cognizant of. Out of range. Oh, that had to be a mistake. Supposed to be a... Uh... Yeah, there's the launch. Oh. Ah, yeah, small body. That's what you were talking about. Yeah. I feel like if that was another character, you could have hit. Force the burst in the corner. That's the Ooh, infinite. Yes, indeed. The Frankfinite. He doesn't One have more time. burst. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. The crowd is loving it out here. <laughs> You got the execution. If you got the execution, you can keep it going. Let's. Okay. Okay. Oh, drops it eventually. Drops. Yeah. Normally with Frank players, because it's hard to keep it going forever. You can see how little damage a rep of that does. Uh, but uh, normally they'll switch into something like the blue cart loops or something else in some way. James is trying to go for it as long as he could. Yeah. Built some meter back, of course. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. The puddle Ooh, is on the ground, but we're going the right into level three. three. <laughs> Meta Turtle famously, uh, we'll say, just spend it. If you have the three meters and you're playing Vijo, go into the level three. You get a combo after it. Yeah, also, supers are unburstable. So by going directly into the level three, he gave all that damage without it being bursted. Gets the hard knockdown and gets a... Oh, he doesn't full charge the boomerang. Okay, interesting. Yeah, red hot kick. Really good movement option, but that was not the reverse boomerang. Roll gets the combo. Charges up. Yeah, decides to give the power up. Woo! Fly swatting. Yeah, an important part of playing against Bijo is trying to block him from doing those horizontal red hot kicks. Because if he gets behind you with it like this and throws that boomerang, you yeah. cannot do anything. Yeah, it's really, really hard. And there's some of the high low. Oh, she's healing. Oh, yes. Instant DHC into the grab super. 
Let's go. So, so. Vijo is out. Tekaman coming in. Nice. Gets out of that unblockable setup there. Tekaman, you know, another character where he's pretty slow, but he's very dangerous. Yeah, didn't want to step on that puddle. Had to try and switch up his combo. Does manage to take out that prank watch. Though. Yeah, but Roll coming in with somewhat low health here. It's going to be hard for Roll to deal enough damage to kill Tekaman. It's going to be a lot of hits. Okay. okay. Does land the hit. Yeah, go! Oh, okay. oh, no! Roll actually does have an infinite on standing Takaman <laughs> only, and he was going for it there. James will go for the hardest roll combos you have ever seen in your life. I hope we get to see some of them on stream. At least he went for one from there. Tons of meter here. I think he's Takaman. too far. Yeah, he's oh. too far. Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah, Meta Eternal, nice and easy. <laughs> what? Not even scared for a second. Yeah, I'm not even sure. Scared. I'm so sad one of these two is going to be getting knocked out of the bracket right away. I love both of these teams so much. I know. It is a little bit sad. Yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, beautiful Joe. Just such a powerful, un un unexpectedly powerful character. It's just really impressive what Meta is able to do with Joe. Oh, tabs away the cart. Nice blocks on that mix up there. Gets out of the corner. Good stuff. But yeah, here comes the boomerang. It comes back. Oh my god. He Woo, is moving. He's absolutely schmoving. Frank West, another character like Takaman, who feels like piloting a truck yeah. when you first pick him up. You're definitely walking through molasses a little bit with Frank compared to Joe, who could just effortlessly move across the screen. Oh yeah. Yeah, good avoidance actually. Holding up forward to get out of uh, that assist situation. Red hot kick holding things <laughs> down. Oh, and then Guys, we have the combo. Oh, gets the knockdown. Nice! The slide for Pursuit yeah. forces the burst out of James. Yeah, as soon as James saw that Baroque, it was time to burst. Now, huge amount of red on James. There's going to have to be a decision made, and the decision is the Baroque. That could it's end up dagger. unfortunate. Oh, no, no combo. Wants to set up a zombie, I guess. Yeah, calling in another zombie from the back of the screen here. Okay. Alpha counter just to bring in roll. But yeah, roll opened yeah. up and here's that oh, level this three. This is big damage on roll. She is not a high health character. And Tekka assist is available. Mm -hmm. Used for the follow up combo here. Oh yeah. Oh, we're just this going to auto time as well. I mean, look how much damage that does on roll. She was oh, like, oh but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. She's oh, not quite dead. She's alive. So close, and now she's dead. Oh Exploded. My God. Turned into fine particulate matter, and here comes the Tekaman assist. Oh, oh went to for go the, for the over overhead. That was cheeky, that eternal. Just a pixel left. Listen, I've seen some comebacks, but this ain't it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I want to believe. That was so sick. No. There it is, though. The boomerang finishing it out. Big shout out to James for coming out. But Meta Eternal is going to be moving on. Yeah, Meta Eternal in the end is just too solid with that oh, yeah. beautiful Joe. Way too solid. Yeah, I mean, especially considering, again, this is James' first, uh, first live tournament event out. So big shout out to him for making it that far. Meta Eternal on the other hand. Years of training. Yeah. Yeah, very solid stuff. All right, so this will be our, our other winner's quarter here. The losers. I'm sorry, losers', losers quarter here. Yeah. yeah, and someone we don't normally see in losers at this point in the bracket, Dawa Dawa, yeah. is walking up. Our uh, Another one of our Chicago reps here going to be playing against uh, True Gamer is coming out from SoCal. Only 1-0 in top eight, huh? Dawa Dawa? Uh, say what? Isn't Dawa Dawa the only zero in top eight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We when, you said, when you said 1 0, I thought you were talking about his record. Oh, no, like, no, no, no. <laughs> only a single zero player. Yes, the yes, only yes, zero yes. in top eight here. We got two blades, two Yatter ones, only 1 0. Yeah, so that yeah, that closes out our, our trio of top player, or of top characters, that is. Yeah. Yeah, Dawa Dawa, super strong player. Um, a lot of the people who are in top eight here, like uh, KV, Meta Eternal, Empty Shiki, we're all old, right? Uh, <laughs> Dawa Dawa, a little bit younger. I mean, to be, play, to be playing this game, yeah. true. Like, if you played this game when it came out, you you definitely uh, have back pain when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Dawa Dawa uh, is one of, like, a number of players we have, and I'm super grateful for it. Played it when they were kids or yeah. learned about it later, and now we're getting into the game, say how much they like it. And Dawa Dawa is one of the ones who has 
uh, put in a ton of work and is now one of our best, most consistent players. Yeah, absolutely. I think the the dawn of, of net play for this game really helped grow the scene. Oh, because yeah. Before, when it was Wii exclusive, it was like, oh man, this is kind of... <laughs> I mean, okay, there's only so much you can do when you're, online when you're a fighting game and your online service is li literally called Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, what do you do, man? <laughs> So yeah, now with uh, with the the dolphin, we're we're really in there. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. shout out to that one that was out there, by the way. Dude, yeah, that looks sick. He said he got it from Ghana. Wow, nice. Yeah, that's awesome. We got the the official Tatsunoko versus Capcom mask as well. We are. They we told are. him he was gonna look fly. I don't know if you could hear that on. We had to stop right I'm there. always I'm always <laughs> like with the 50-50 of like can. Can chat hear the bad <laughs> puns, or is it just? I us? always go back and look at look at our streams, and sometimes the two of us just stop talking. There's nothing <laughs> on the stream. Matt patching himself into ruin. It's just a, just a little inside <laughs> joke for the streamers. All right, so we are gonna and see. Of course, it's the optimal character selection tech here. Yeah, make it first. Ryu first to save frames. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, now has got the wireless earbuds in. Mm, yeah. Wow. Oh, going for the fist bump, but. <laughs> there it is, there it is, there it is. We're good. All right, okay. yeah, true gamer with the Ryu Chun Li. He is a true gamer. Yeah, the team Street Fighter here. Um, a, a team of characters who, again, I feel like are kind of just outside of top tier. Like, Ryu, super strong as a point and an assist. And same deal with Chun. They can really go both ways. But, oh, my God. I feel like both of them, honestly, are super strong assists, first and foremost. You see yeah. them on a lot of teams. But uh, true gamer like playing both of them together. Yeah, as opposed to Dawa Dawa's team, which is, you know, pretty front-loaded. He wants to make this happen with zero. Yep. He wants to avoid having to make a Ryu comeback, if at all possible. Oh, and there it is! The Chun-Li assist so strong. <laughs> takes out the zero, and it's done just for you for Dawa Dawa. Yes, strong start for the game. Shoto battle here. Gonna get a nice combo here. Is true gamer. That's oh, unblockable. Bo -Bo That's a unblockable reset. assist. That is truly uh, cursed at level it. three. Chooses not to burst. All right, GG go next, I guess. I feel like that's a pretty common Dawa Dawa thing of like, let mm, yes, saving yes, the yes. burst even when it seems like, you know, you may as well at least try it, but Dawa Dawa letting it happen here. 1-0, bro. Th this has got to be the fastest I've ever seen TVC matches going. This is crazy. I know. Like when I think about the fact that like it's now 1-0 and one more game, True gamer wins. Like oh, that's the hat came off. All right, we're, we're turning up. We're turning up the <laughs> that's intensity. That's serious. All right, let's see it here. Dawa Zero. Dawa. He's got the pizza cutter. Yeah, Dawa Dawa does not want to get knocked out like this. Ooh, Ooh danger, danger. Yeah, using Baroque to change the trajectory of your jump, stay unpredictable. The fake dive kick? Oh my god, he's going deep in the bag of tricks here. Ooh, we are. Throwing out that stanky leg here on Ryu. That jump heavy from Ryu is just an absurd jumping normal. Oh, interrupts Chun though, no invincibility. Oh, he's not blocking low on the reset. So now, Dawa Dawa gonna have this level three buster charge. Gonna get the relaunch. Oh, and he's going for the hard stuff. Wow. Yeah, so now we're getting another one. Ugh. High execution. I mean, this is the thing about Zero, like, ooh, true oh. gamer first late in that combo. Yeah, I don't know. Zero, he could have done level three maybe to go for the kill, but I don't know about using all that meter because now true gamer. Big chunk of red and, and no bar. Yeah. Probably looking to tag out Chun here, I would have to imagine, but it's wow, not gonna happen. Wow, the up. There it is. Oh, very block. good block by True Gamer. That was Oh nasty. my god, run up launcher. Oh, the biggest jump ace. Early burst, doesn't want any of that. A little early on the unblock. Uh, I think, I think like the push block happened there oh, for True Gamer just yeah. at the last second. That's uh, that's how you get out of those. Oh, juggle off the fireball. God, with all this execution. Oh, switching it up the other way. Yeah, not going to get anything mid-screen, though. That's one of the things about Zero. The burst to get red life? Come on, bro. It, it seems like everyone today, and they're like, well, if I have four plus meters, I may as well just burst for no reason. OK, true gamer. No burst meter to get out of this one. We're going to see that dark hold come out. <laughs> Dawa Dawa. Dawa Dawa looking stressed out Massive here. sense of relief off of that dub. Yeah. Um, the thing about Zero, like, it's just shocking. Like, you see, like, a light starter 
Yeah. And you're like, there's no way that he's going to do that much damage. And then he just ends up doing like 75% and building himself like two plus meters. Yeah, absolutely. Is. Shout outs to our crowd. Woo! Yo, check out the, the TVC Wii fight stick. That's like... <laughs> I know, right? All right, where are we going? Willamette Mall, Daigo Temple, Moonlight. Let's go. All right. Yeah, so I always feel like Zero has this sense of inevitability where, like, once he's hitting you, you just start to feel all the factors working against you. Like, I'm taking all yeah. this damage, I'm losing all, or he's getting all this meter. I mean, even if you don't get hit, even if you just let him, like, block string yeah. you, he just starts building meter and building meter, and suddenly he has two bursts, and you're, yeah. like, you know, eight a quarter bar a chip or something, you know? Yeah, it could definitely be discouraging. All right. Ooh, round start DP. Yo. Ooh, using the air dash plus the Tatsu. Yeah, True Gamer in uh, his first couple games did a really great job of staying up in the air. That's one way to kind of stay out of Zero's threat radius. Whoa, offensive yeah. burst again. Oh, Wanted the unblockable. Trying to go for the unblockable. But oh, 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 gets baited. No way. Oh my God, he's lost the Zero already. 89 seconds still left on the clock. That offensive burst ended up working out great here. But the real comeback is still possible. Wow, oh, nice block. blocks. Oh, gets out like the hit, but doesn't finish the combo. Could have had so much more damage there. Ooh, Ooh, double dash. Mario Kart getting the launcher. No, no, no. A little out of range. Again, doesn't get the combo off that hit. Ooh, oh, my God. Broke. The DP for broken and falling jump C. True gamer firing on all cylinders here. Oh, uh, and then goes empty low. It yeah, like that's got to be it. The chin sure you get. That is a crazy way to go out. True Gamer with the fist pumps there. Ryu was running rough shot. That was crazy. Yeah, True Gamer always an emotional player, not afraid to let it show when he's happy yeah. about a victory. Yeah, Ryu had all the momentum. <laughs> the crowd loves it. They love the camera. Let's go. Hell yeah. I mean, you know, huge shout out to everybody coming out here to watch today. It's been such a such a great time seeing all the people supporting TVC here at this point. The energy is, is so positive here at Frosty Fountain. Yeah, I mean, shout out to all the event staff here as well. Not just for our game, but all of these games that, yeah. are, that are running this weekend. Yeah, in addition to Frosty having, like, the most main games of, like, any tournament I've had. This, this has, yeah. like, 15 main games, yes. and we have the Vortex Gallery, which is where we are, where all these side games are running. It's yeah, really crazy. Absolutely. This is like a true sampling of everything that the FGC has to offer. And thanks also to you at home watching. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys are here right now, you are culture. Yeah, that is just yeah, yeah. a fact. If you're here watching some TVC, glad you're choosing to spend your uh, Saturday afternoon here with us. Absolutely. So, looks like we are going to have. Yeah, we're going to be moving along in the loser's bracket now. Uh, since we finished that first round of matches, that means we have, uh, what, Empty, Shiki, and Buku. In, in winners finals. We're gonna be running that after we clear out a little more of the losers yeah. bracket. We're moving down now to see uh, Captain Nick, who lost to Buku earlier, and Metaternal, who won over James. So this is right, gonna be our second right. round of losers. All right, gonna be good here. Yeah, the, this is once again, like, even though I, I say, I've been talking all this about how Beautiful Joe is such a threat. He's so powerful, he's so yeah. scary. But I feel like he can have a hard time a little bit, a little bit against Tekka Blade. Like, first of all, Tekka Blade has a huge health total. So oh, beautiful God. Joe, like, he's going to have to land a lot of hits to kill him, and then Tekka Blade doing so much damage. And Tekka Blade combos, he doesn't have to go for the hard stuff against an awkward hitbox like beautiful Joe. He can just do easy combos and yeah. still do massive damage. So He also has a really easy time shutting down that the horizontal yeah. red hot kick approach because he also likes to go DK into the air with yeah, the horizontal lancer and just stuff it completely. So. Uh, you're not maybe going to see as much of that out of Mad Eternal, but, you know, it's not his first rodeo. I'm sure he has some yeah. ideas on how to play the matchup. Absolutely. <clears throat> I, at this point, I'm, I'm almost more interested in, like, the stage selection. I feel like we're learning a lot about the players <laughs> by what stage they go in. Yeah, I like that people are selecting stages here. Oh, boo. Well, that's okay. Even though we don't have the wrap, I'm we, still okay with We jinxed it. it. We jinxed it. <laughs> this is one of the cooler training stages. Yeah, Bijo, Tekaman coming out from uh, Mad Eternal. Yeah. And then the Blade Ryu from Captain Nick. Yeah, Te Blade Ryu, I, I feel like they have such good coverage because that Ryu fireball at ground level, the Blade covering the skies perfectly. Like, it just really, it's this yeah. double whammy of you shall not approach me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just like we're seeing right now, immediately taking to the skies. Ooh, sniping out the assist as well. 
Whoa, whoa, accidental VAR, I have to assume. Brings in Ryu, but I mean, Ryu is still good. It's, yeah. it's not a problem. Okay. Got the hit, and Ryu not really a character that has problems converting on small body characters. That's just a regular drop. Right wow, there. just raw tagging. <laughs> yeah, I want to get that blade back in. I, I can see, I can understand why. These are all just like stray hits, little combos, little bits and bobs, and it's adding up, man. Beautiful Joe below half already. Ooh, the cross, cross up. <laughs> Nothing you can do about that. Yeah, no. Blade does have that big hurt box. Gonna there spend it? Go. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. Spending the Baroque to one. force the burst. Huge amount of red life there, which means that uh, that that combo is gonna do a lot of damage from that point. This actually is a little bit dangerous for Captain Nick because Metaternal does have level three. Oh no! Yeah, I got baited. Blade fell out of it. I think he ate the first hit. Oh no! I, I thought it was he saw the hit spark on the assist, and that's why he did yeah, maybe. Up. I have to go review the ball. Regardless, very unfortunate to lose all the meter. Yeah, and now. Metaternal is down to, er, to regular Tekka Man. It's the battle of Tekka Man. Mm -hmm. Dante versus Virgil right here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. A little bit of chip there at the end, but yeah, Tekka Man uh, has the most health in the game. Oh! Yeah, no way. That yeah, yeah, sick. that connects. Blade got that privilege. All right, now you nope. have to guess. Come on, Safe nice. side, low. I was expecting the, the burst, burst there, but uh, you know. No, no, nobody home for that one. Okay, okay wait, yeah. Adam Turtle still alive, Captain Nick bursts. Yeah, one burst down. It's a big deal, and Meta Turtle, I have to imagine, is gonna try to save this red life to try to deal with Ryu. But it might not matter here. He's getting close to Chip. The Helm Breaker, the 100 hand slash. Oh. Just the assist coming in. Captain Nick taking that first game. Cheeky smile here from Metaternal. Mm -hmm. it, it really came down to one mistake. I think it was that level three. That's what really turned the game around. So, Do you think the Techman Blade is coming out here from Metaternal? It's hard to say. Sometimes we like to go to character select just to think about it. But yeah, Metaternal does switch freely between the two Techman. Yeah, there it yeah, is. I'm seeing it. Seeing the Vijo Blade. That's his other sort of variation on this team. And, uh, you know, maybe he thinks it'll feel, fare a little little better in this matchup, even though he is one of the best Tekka Man players out yeah. there. I mean, Bla Blade Assist, it, it, it is definitely quite solid, and I think the big reasoning here is just it's too hard to make the regular Tekka Man come back. Especially, like, Tekka Man against Blade for you, it just feels like you struggle to get in. I have oh. to... Oh, unblockable. Yeah. Oh, drop the combo, though. I have to imagine that uh, Metaternal... Changing colors to a new matching color scheme, by the way. Oh, he's got that on box. <laughs> he's always been good about that. Okay, yeah, you Slide have to burst that. Captain Nick really respecting the damage that Meta Turtle's team is capable of. Throws him out of it to the charge. Boomerang doesn't come out there. He held it a little too long. Ooh, wow, yep, great yep, confirm. Yep, yep, good confirm. Do we got the ground staff this time? Let's see it. Nope, doesn't go doesn't for go it. go for it, just gets oh, a Oh, has a hit. Unfortunate drop. It gets another chance at it. Wow, him. that's a huge chunk of Baroque. This is probably going to be a dead character, I think. Oh, it, it, especially if you yeah. VAR. Yeah, good VAR. I don't think Vijo actually could have killed there. Yeah, yeah, maybe close. He doesn't have a good option for uh, comboing supers after air combo. Yeah. So good option to go for the VAR. Tatsu sniping twice out of the air. Ooh, there's the overhead. Ooh, a little janky, the falling jab. Cross-up. Flying around with these Tatsu. Oh! The bomb? Oh, yeah, the bomb. He was worried about it. <laughs> Respecting the bomb there. I mean, beautiful Joe assist. Half the time you don't even think about it. It's like one of the jankiest assists in the game. Second Blade has so much meter. <laughs> Why does Ryu fall so fast after the Tatsu? I know. He becomes so heavy. Well, he needs to be able to pressure you after he gets the hard knockdown from the Tatsu. He needs it. They knew. They knew. <laughs> <laughs> He's throwing out that stanky leg. Yeah, trying to protect those guys. Get a get a nice little clean approach angle here. Whoa! Whoa! That was very tricky. On nice knife from Metagirl, yeah. I think this might be one of the first TVC matches I've seen in a while where time could become a factor. I mean... TBC seconds are like each, oh, each one is like four real world seconds, so. 
Yeah, Mad Eternal, I think a pretty good decision here going for like way more sort of, had the Link didn't believe in it. Wow, yeah, first wow. whiffs. Yeah, Mad Eternal just choo choosing to go for the lane game here. Calling bomb, throwing lances, it's been working out great. I wouldn't switch it up. Yep, stabbing. This is the, the true lame game right here. The true lame game. Yeah, I mean, with Ryu, it's just hard to get that open up. Yeah, and I mean, he's getting chip every time yeah. that mash move comes out. Yeah, not, it is adding up. Not much health left. Ooh. And the jump C connects. We are tied up one to one. Patient play, patient play. Into game three. Let's see it. Yeah, so the switch to Blade definitely paying off there. Yeah. You can see why. He yep. wanted that ability to sit back, play lame, not put himself at risk of getting hit. Yeah, Blade completely controlled the neutral there. Absolutely. All right, this is for all the marbles here. Yeah, this is it. 1-1. One, one. Blue versus red. Oh, another cross-up. Yep. There we go. And wow. again. Get sniped out of the uh, the full boomerang charge. Yeah, that was smart to wait on the burst until they're on the other side. He was expecting the overhead. Wow, Helmbreaker, I don't even know what side that hit on. Oh, Whoa! that was a nasty overhead. That was a nasty four overheads is what that was. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Pretty close, pretty close so far though. We're a uh, meter and a half for both players. Both of them at half life down on their first characters. Could go either way. Yeah, once again, we're back to this patient neutral. Wow, that was cross up. Good block on that cross up though. Ooh, Lance's and oh, gets the Oh yeah, yeah, that confirms. That's that blade privilege. Yeah, blade for you. If you can get the double OTG here, no! It would have killed. Yeah, tough timing. Ooh, sniped out the... No Ooh, way. Oh, forces the burst and beats that out in the air. Meta Eternal all of a sudden right back in. Yeah, if you can just get one clean hit on Tekka. Captain Nick, obviously a raw tag would be amazing, but is so scared to do it because Beautiful Joe has all this meter to punish with. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, he's using the assist. so low. I think, is that a flaming pot? Oh, okay. Vijo taken out. Now you can get away with the raw tag. This is going to be a huge health deficit. Yeah, now it's Captain Nick's turn to run away. Mm -hmm. Ryu's not quite as good at it, but uh, he can at least waste some time for Techman Blade to get that red health back. Oh, nice. challenging. Good challenge. Didn't have the... Uh, challenge again! Not getting any combos off of him. He could have gone into a full combo off either of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Fireball Baroque. Coming down, coming down with the heavies. Oh, Patsu snipes out of the air. <laughs> a little worried that jab was going to get punished, I guess. So much meter here for Meta Eternal, but it's going to be hard to use it. You got to get in. Yeah, Tekka Man Blade. Look how much health he's already recovered in the back. Yeah. Yikes. No challenge that time, but nice. there it is. Pokes out on the on the minus frames there. Yep. Going to force one burst. That's oh, unsafe Again. in that range. Okay, Captain Nick forced to burst. Meta Eternal now with the meter advantage. Yeah, there is a chance here. Meta Eternal, no Baroque to work with is a little tough. We might see another offensive burst, who knows? Yeah, and only 20 seconds left on the clock at this yeah, point. Yeah, time once again, starting, starting a to factor. Starting to become a factor. Oh, ooh, that yeah. was so good, but the DP Baroque, the wow. absolute classic for Captain Nick. Captain Nick eliminates Meta Eternal. Good stuff, good stuff. So, the Blade Bro stays alive. Yeah. Still two blades in top eight. Oh. Yeah, you love, you love to see the, the max. Many max is what you can get. So, shout outs to Matt Eternal for uh, keeping alive in the bracket as long as he did, coming all the way out here. But uh, going to go out at what, fifth? I believe fifth. Yeah, fifth place. Big yeah. crowd gathering, man. Look, we, it's standing room only standing in here. Standing room only. It's crazy. <laughs> For TVC. Yeah, shout out to all the games running back there today. That's where all the Vortex Gallery tournaments are happening back there in those setups. They're labeled. 
There's more. There's more games going on right now. Uh, they're all awesome. So you know, plenty of cool stuff to watch this weekend if you're not here at Frosty Bowser. I've been having so much fun. We were talking earlier. I don't even enter anything anymore, man. I just come. I play casuals. I watch what's going on. There's just so much heat. It's hard to keep up. With I can't. Everything. I can't stop. I will go 0 and 2 in every bracket for life. <laughs> not me, man. Not me. I'm casual. <laughs> Everyone who watches my videos knows I'm a casual. <laughs> I don't know how to play these games. So we have uh, KB's coming up. Yeah, KB's, like we said, knocked down into losers yeah. and going to be going up against True Gamer. Yes, so this is, uh, these two have a long history yeah. of playing each other. These are, these are both dudes from 2010 EVO. So a um, lo lot of experience against one another. And uh, I'm excited to see what, what kind of games they bring here. Yeah, we'll have to see is is KB is, you know gonna get the get the hands warmed up, get some of that rust knocked off. Execution was looking like a factor in that first match he had to play, so yeah, uh, that's gonna be essential for a team like Yotter One Batsu. You really have to be on point. Yeah, what I mean, he did say he he had like a quick run through through winners in the yeah. bracket, and then once he got out into top eight, he uh, he went to take a nap. So maybe you know <laughs> he's a little bit uh, he's got crust in the eyes. Yeah, in the eyes. maybe maybe he's woken up a little more now. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, it definitely is like that sometimes, you know, like this is one of those games where you have to feel it in the hands, you know. Oh, taunt off, taunt off. Hey, hey. We, we have to make sure we can taunt. That's the most important button in the game. I mean, if you're a Duranja player, it really is. <laughs> yeah, wait, actually, true. <laughs> oh, I should put that in a video, like... Uh, Taunts that like do damage. Yeah, yeah. Wait, does it, this doesn't do zero damage, right? It does damage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Random new to training stage this time. So I don't know what that's supposed to tell us, but okay. So we are going for the uh, Yatter one more. I think against True Gamer. True Gamer super aggressive in the new Yeah. Game. So I understand wanting that sort of uh, Morrigan assist to to keep keep control there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and Morgan as an anchor, you know, just moving up and up. People are people are getting good with the character for sure. Yeah, more and more people picking her up over the years. Oh, and they, wow, what a confirm from range! Found the exact right button to combo off that. And wow, actually, VAR is into Morgan. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, a little bit of a different look, obviously. Morrigan, not as fast as Yatter 1. Yatter 1 assist, also not quite as good as the Morrigan assist, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it just wants to play a turtle Ooh, style here. Did you see that? She does have the instant overhead. Instant overhead directly into launcher. That was crazy. Yeah, the thing about Ryu, though, we saw him once or twice earlier. He has that DP into Baroque on wake up, so a lot of people will just let him wake up and not do anything. Oh, see her oh my bar. god. That's the power of Baroque, folks. And there now is. the burst is gone, so there goes Morgan. Morgan is out. Yatter 1 coming back in, although Ryu, there it is. I feel like KB has to regret that decision to let Morgan rock on point. Yeah, wanted the damage from the VAR, but does manage to take out Ryu there. So now we're down to just Yatter 1 versus Chun-Li. So I feel like this is not so bad. Yeah, yeah it's definitely not. Yeah, Chun, really good at stalling. Yeah, really, really good at building meter, mm -hmm. chilling at various portions of the screen. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, level two. Let's see how hard he wants to go with the combo here. Oh, he wants to go pretty hard. Not too hard. Yeah, we're not going for loops. Yeah, so uh, KB's still alive on the other one. Force to burst. Okay, this could go uh, either way at this point. Oh, the raw launcher. That is a Yotter 1 classic. Mm -hmm. Now you get the corner roll. Yotter 1 really good at covering both rolling options. Just standing at full speed. Oh, oh my god. He says, come at me. It just launch second, it. The second you approach, there's a raw launcher waiting. It was a little scary to go for that fireball, though, but oh it's Oh, my fine. god. KB's knew exactly what he was doing there. Yeah. I'm just going to stand here. You got to come to me, and I'm going to launch you. The way that Yotter 1 can just change his trajectory, it's like he's air dashing back, and then instantly he's coming at you. Yeah. Hitboxes are out everywhere. Like, this character is so scary. All right, let's see. Shake out the hands here. We're going back to character select, but I think this is just going to be this is just going to be a think of. This is just going to be a, a, a cooldown period. No character switches. Yeah, I mean, 
KB can switch characters there. Yeah. True gamer, I've never seen him switch teams <laughs> in my entire life. A true gamer sticks with their guns, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's one of the uh, the true gamer rules. The tenets. The tenets of being a true gamer. The true gamer commandment. All right. I mean, I was saying that oh uh, God, DP at round start. I was talking like KB uh, was going to regret decisions last game, but it ended in a win. So, man, there's that Morgan assist coming through once again. The sandwich this time goes for the knockdown. Yeah, and then you can see using the Morgan assist to try to keep your gamer cornered, but it was back into a neutral situation. Oh, <laughs> first gets punished. Yeah, I guess that one fireball was the damage. Yeah, that fireball is just posing a threat the whole time it moves across the screen. No, drop the combo. Yeah, there's an unblock. Runs in you. with the unblockable. Yatter one so powerful with that. JR wow. yeah, gets the kill this time. And brings back in Yatter one. Wow, that was so tricky. Overhead. Now KB himself described Yatter one as the uh, Magneto of this game. And he comes down with those overheads just as fast. And did you see that as well? The Morgan assist perfectly captured Chun Li for rolling out of the corner. So, oh, nice throw! Morgan is really providing a lot of value. Yeah, here. That assist so strong. Look at this. Backing standing up, there standing. <laughs> the AR into wow. the level three, and that is going to be enough. KB takes out True Gamer. Yeah, KB's just really solid at that time. That was just uh, pure, pure Yotter one good. Yeah, so again, shout out to True Gamer making it this far. We're going to be going at this point. Yeah, I mean, that's what we were talking about. KB is a landmine down there in Losers. Yeah, and now we're going up to our Winners Finals, I believe. And this is, I got to tell you, not the match I would have predicted for Winners Finals. Yeah. We have Empty Shiki and Buku coming up to the stage. Wow, yeah, definitely. So we're going to see once again that Yotter one. Hipatsu man. Yeah. And Empty Shiki, to his credit, it's not just that he's hot today. He has been on the grind these past yeah. couple weeks. He has been going everywhere he can to get matches in, playing online, playing offline, everything he can get in, trying to get into shape, even up through last night. Wow. Uh, grind, grinding games out on this. He yeah, was uh, in, in Vampire Savior at 10 p.m., top eight at 10 p.m. last night, and he was up playing TBC until like 9.30. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, I mean, like, get, getting those offline casuals has to be so important for an event like this, you know, since this oh, yeah. is a game that most of us are primarily playing online. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely uh, important to get a feel for how it's going to be in the actual tournament. Yeah, itself. like any game, it feels different offline. Yeah, it really does. I mean, a lot of people point to specific things. It feels a lot better to burst bait offline. You can yeah. react to it quicker, you know? Yeah, I've definitely noticed Baroque Unblockables are looking crispy today, too. People yeah. are doing yeah. very, very well successfully landing those. Buku has the power of anime on his side, though. He's got, got that Tekaman blade out here. Yeah, that's true. No. I had some questions on stage for like, but yeah, we're, we're I would, I, you know, I would prefer if they don't play on training. <laughs> no, I don't really care. They're all, they're all good. Yeah, there's a lot of good stages, a lot of good songs in this game. Back in the Wii days, there were a few stages that were uh, banned for slowdown reasons, yeah, but yeah. now that we are on a, a PC that can absolutely crush this game, <laughs> we got we got like a, a 40, 80 like cranking <laughs> frames to play TBC from 2008. <laughs> but we're on training stage anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, yeah. Wow, challenges afterwards and a double toss up. Back into the air. Yeah, bursting pretty late in the combo, but oh. pops it. That was a lot of red life to spend on that. That is going to be something you regret later. No red life to get back, no red life to use for Baroque, and now you're going to lose the character for yeah, it. Yeah, Yadderwan is out. Buku's looking strong here. And because we're in finals here, this should be three out of five. Yeah, and Patsu Man. Can definitely do a lot of damage, but Luku's defense is looking really solid right now. Looks so good. Oh, yeah, Ooh, with yeah. baseball. Of course, it's the burst out of Shiki, and now Buku has a four meter advantage. Yeah, meter economy. So important in this game. Look at this pressure in the corner. Okay, nice throw. Yeah, backdashing to try to bait the roll forward, but Buku gets right. Yikes. And, and, and he's just going to go into level three here. Probably. No, you're going to. 
Make it a little harder on Oh, Ooh, trying to do some relaunch stuff, huh? Wow, okay. okay, it ended up working out. Well, a, little, a, little, a little weird at the end there, but uh, Buku had so much of it. Yeah, shaking his hand. Shake yeah, that yeah. one off. Could have finished that one off a couple of times, but uh, you know, you have such an advantage at that point. It's hard for Buku to make a comeback, and Buku does end up taking it. Yeah, this game, it kind of has the feel of like the older versus games, like Marvel 2, where making a comeback, you really have to work. Well, you gotta work. There's no X Factor. Here. Yeah, making a one character comeback with no assist is definitely a challenge. I mean, if anything, I've said it before, this game is uh, hostile to comeback because <laughs> as you hit people, you right. build more meter and you have more burst. So even if they start to hit you, you just get to burst them all. Yeah, a lot of modern games have comeback mechanics. This has snowball mechanics. <laughs> Oh, scooting out of the corner here. Oh, no. Poorly placed lands, but no combo from Shiki. Classic aiding butt hitbox there. Ooh, double jump canceling. Trying to keep the momentum here, but we're back to neutral where Yotter won. Whoa, slide from downtown. Nice. Poking him with the lance. Unblockable, yeah, has to burst, and now getting the combo off the burst, building back a bunch of meter. Another burst! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huge chunk of red on Yotter 1, but Buku does have burst. Oh! Nice! Yeah, holding on to Baroque, trying to force the burst first, but it's just gonna kill the character. Okay, so Blade is out, Ryu coming in for Buku. Wow, just hit overhead, uses ooh, up ooh, the ooh. red. All right, looks like we're gonna have a good old-fashioned anchor battle. Yeah, wants to get that character out. You can't burst during super. So. Ooh, and the air down medium. <laughs> the curveball, yo. <laughs> yeah, ooh, the knuckleball. Yeah, that's the knuckleball. The scissor kick. Yeah, that's a burst down, so one hit is gonna be very close to killing Ryu here. And he can get, can yeah. get one. I mean, he possibly found a high damage character. Yeah. Very good, very well could kill Ryu. Yep, controlling space using the baseball. Psycho Crusher. Oh, There's wait, no that's bad, But again, mid-screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't want to use a super meter here. Wants to save it for burst. Oh, down light. Yeah, you got to burst that okay, back. Okay, he's got a burst, and now Buku's one touch away from taking another game. Danger. Yeah. Shiki, depending on how this goes, might need to get two hits. There's the unblock. Yeah. Oh my god, you gotta burst that. That was so much damage in Yeah. Oh, there's the second hit. There so it's gonna be 1 1. Shiki tying it up. Yeah, those little post DP situations for a Potsu man have been really good for Shiki. A lot of people having trouble dealing with that very ambiguous mix when he's falling, you know? Yeah, he is uh, actionable in the air. It's not like he's plus or anything. Yeah. He's also at a spot where you can't really hit a full combo on him or anything. Yeah. You gotta really think hard about how you want to handle that. Yeah, a lot of your normal panic buttons, you know, down light and stuff, you'll just whip and you'll get clipped. Yep. Oh my god, speaking of down light, it's there to oh, try to snipe something with the crash injury. I don't know, maybe it was just a missed input. Going for that raw Yotterman launcher, but oh, wow, what a confirm. Yeah, once again, like MP Shiki, just a huge chunk of red on Yotterman. Buku desperate to build a second the launcher. Good stuff from Cheeky to drop the combo. Yeah, this is so unfortunate. Yada one down. Again, a Ponson Man's coming into nearly two full life characters. Oh, jabs. Okay. Oh, missed input there. Toss up block, but just some Abare there from Buku is going to get the clean hit. Two hits, zero damage. The classic. Yeah, looking really good for Buku at this point. Not only the uh, healthy, but a huge meter lead. Plus, he's got Tech Man Blade on his <laughs> Tech Man Blade with the Ryu assist, known to be pretty good. Oh, could have killed that. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's going to connect the anti air super. Nice snipe from Empty Shiki. That works, but, uh, you know, puts him a little bit farther away from Burst once again. Oh, Woo! Yeah. Ryu coming in. All right, two to one. <laughs> Empty Shiki is all smiles, but yeah. this Tekka Blade Ryu is looking really tough. And like we said, we're winners finals now, so this is three out of five. Yeah.
Yeah, looking a little bit difficult here. It just feels like Tekka Blade is always getting that first hit, getting that momentum. Yeah, with Yatter 1, you need to think really hard about your approach angle. Tech Man Blade, you know, Yatter, he has normal that Woo, round start. start. Yeah. Yeah. He does want to be in character spaces, and Tekka Man Blade is good at putting a lot of hitboxes out in the way. Wow! <laughs> Jumping directly into launcher. And we're getting the VAR, but a drop. This is, this is the knockdown. Okay! Iki with the loops. Oh, drops the third one. Yeah, I think didn't want to overcommit there just because. Good block. Oh, he's just out of range for the punish there. Unfortunate. Yeah, blocking that in the air. Wow, cross up hitbox. Oh, a little too far for that combo to keep going. Nerves definitely becoming a factor for both players here, it seems. Mm -hmm. Okay, another combo. Yeah, this time burst. he's going to burst. Shiki with a pretty serious uh, wow. meter advantage, but good challenge from Buku. Yeah, bursting one time. And Shiki once again, big chunk of red. I wonder if the team order is a concern here. Do we want Yotter one back? Wow, just hits clean. Yeah, from the top. That was a good answer, though. The standing jab from Ryu. Oh, I think he's really trying to get in with those uh, unblockables, because you can set up an yeah. unblockable off of that. Wow. But uh, Buku's so good about challenging them before he gets a chance. Yeah, Buku doing a great job of answering the usual Apatsu Man nonsense. And now he's going to get a very damaging punish here. Are we going to see level three? No, just a long combo. Wow. Into, into the unblockable. unblockable reset. Nothing you can do about that one. Yatter 1 is out, and Buku looks primed to be going on to wow. Grand Finals. That was a clean 100% on Yatter Man 1 with an inescapable reset. And there it the is. Kill. Look at the relief. Oh, the mix-up. <laughs> yeah, Buku moving on to Grand Finals. You love to see it. Really strong player. Glad to see him showing up in this offline tournament here. Yeah, Buku's going to be chilling up there, waiting for the results of this loser side bloodbath. Yeah, still a lot of killers down there. Shark-infested waters. Absolutely. I've been saying this about a lot of games, but it's like it, being in loser's side is just so uncomfortable at this point in the tournament. You know what yeah. I mean? Well, especially at this point. But at any point, you don't want to have to make the loser side run. Yeah. No, you absolutely do not. Especially two out of three. Oh my god, yeah. Nightmare scenario. Two out of three coming up here. And then uh, after that, after this match, I believe it's going to be yeah. three out of five from then on out. Just three matches left. This is, this is semis, right? Semis is two. Oh, two out of three. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. That was my bad. I read something wrong. This one, two out of three. And then we got losers finals. And then we got grand finals. That's all we got left. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so KB's coming back up to the stage against Captain Nick this time. Yeah. The other Blade Bro trying, trying to protect his brother from, uh, from KB. We'll see how he goes. Do you think people watching this are just like, is there any character in the game other than this dude with the land? <laughs> <laughs> is this the only guy? We've seen him a few times, especially since uh, Meta Eternal made that switch yeah. uh, in top eight here. It's the dude with the lance and this dude with the with the Kendama. The, <laughs> the, the Genki Dama. The dude with the yo-yo. Right? Yeah, the dude with the yo-yo, right? You got Ness from uh, from Melee is in this game. All right, we're, we're, we're button checking, I think. Don't get too excited, guys. Yep, yep. All right. <laughs> full, full default setting. Yeah, KB sitting in losers. Not the normal position for him. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we keep it going. Captain Nick, I know, would love to keep his run going as well. All right. Captain Nick and Buku, also probably no coincidence, the first two down here practicing this morning on the set on wow. our tournament. Wow. Jeez. It says a lot. We've been putting in the work, you know. All right. We are seeing the Morgan pick. I mean, it worked out so well in the last match. It was almost like night and day. Yeah. With KBs. As soon as as soon as that Morgan assist was there to control neutral. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I mean it's a it's a totally different feel for the team. You don't have that huge explosive damage, but like you've seen so many times where he's just running al alongside that fireball. It's like what what do you do about it? Yeah. You know. Not only in neutral, but you know, it like. You can't do VAR into into kill, but you can just do a knockdown with Morgan assist, and then 
you get to do a broken block or whatever, so a lot of options here. There it is, the assist picking up. KB's already has Captain Nick pushed back to the corner. Wow. Yeah, the uh, the air DP hit a little awkward there, no combo, but. The Lance. Can we talk about the fact that Yada One has home field advantage here? I don't know. I don't know if we should allow this. <laughs> wow, interrupting the cross up to KB's just looking confident. They are. Into level three, spending it all to get yeah. rid of the problem character. Hey, do it. I mean, once just Ryu is in, it is not nearly as scary. Yeah. Yeah, definitely hard. Good blocks, though. Ooh, raw burst. You've seen a few of those today. There's the overhead. Captain Nick, at least making the most of this situation. Yeah. No. Got the Baroque, gonna spend it. Yeah, no burst available for KB, so you may as well maximize damage while you can. Decides not to spend the level three. I don't think it would've killed. Wow, Morgan just made a sandwich out of nowhere. That was crazy. How was she just on the other side? Okay, yeah, forces the burst back out, Captain Nick. That's awesome hitbox. We've seen a lot of people trying to lame it out against an anchor character today. It looks like KB's wants to do the same thing. You know, whoa, the cross on the hitbox. <laughs> trying to do as much as he could with that uh, sort of awkward pickup. Captain Nick's still in there, though, doesn't have to spend the burst. Sometimes this game's hitboxes are just really something else. Oh my gosh, the conversion. Yeah, not a lot of health left at this point for Captain Nick. Gonna have to play it super safe if he wants to stay in this one. And there it is, just the jump jab coming through. KB stuff one out. Yep, a little, a little. Ooh, wow, KB's actually shaking here, the nerves. Drink some water. Yeah, coming into play, stay hydrated. Look at this, the, cro the cross arm stare, not even touching the controller. Taking a deep breath, getting ready, getting centered. This is the fun part about being a commentator. You can just analyze everyone's like, micro <laughs> body language. I know. Make up what it means. Like, oh, he looks nervous. <laughs> I can tell because he took an extra long sip of water. <laughs> All right, not able to get to confirm off of that air DP. Yeah, the other one's so evasive. Doesn't want to have to block this for you, Fireball. Wow, air to air. Yeah, you little Just mashing. <laughs> Just mashing. I respect it. Okay, interesting burst there from Captain Nick. I don't think there was too much more damage coming out on that combo. Nice pick up from KB. Yeah, here comes Morgan. Not going to level three this time. Probably wouldn't be killed. Going yeah, for some nasty mix. The Morgan level three is like relatively low damage for level three. Look <laughs> at the stare down of the Ooh, century. Oh my god, look at the red life. Yeah, you got to burst that one. Already Morgan lost like half her life bar. Shell kick. Nice Ooh. block on the instant overhead. He locked Ready for it. into a challenge right afterwards, too. Very nice. Yeah, nice try on that uh, dash up on block. Ooh, block. The double overhead. Yeah, the chicken block. Got to get out of there. Oh, Ooh. that hit. So meaty cross up. And now that's going to be a dead the Morgan. Morgan is dead. Blade on pixel health. I can leave him in, though. Yeah, this mix, the mix up, up matters. Wow. wow. Managed to throw through the fireball there. Yeah, another anchor battle. Well, no, never mind. It's point versus anchor battle. Oh, whoa! Kabe's. Yeah, I think Captain Nick saw Kabe's get a little too squirrely there. Yeah, pressing all day. So Kabe's does have a burst, but health is so low, you know. Doesn't punish that DP. Oh. Wow! Interrupt, though. Kabe's is pressing all day. Yeah, get DP as much damage. The there. Oh, nice block. The pressure, the train. Oh my god, what a pickup. Captain Nick down to pixel health now. <laughs> yeah, any projectile from Yotter 1 will kill. Oh my god, they're both at pixel health. Oh, he's trying to stay inside of projectile range. Oh, he Woo! missed. Oh my god, oh, there it is. Oh. And KB's going to be taking it too. Oh. That was the nail biter of a save. Oh, that was so close. Kavis, gonna be moving on. I think Kavis. I'm plugging his stick. I don't think he has. He's gonna have to stay right there. Yep, yep. And now we're coming back to three out of five from here on out. 
this. So this is double jeopardy, huh? Wasn't this our? Uh... Yeah, this was this was our first match of winner's side, right? Wow, that's crazy. And now they're meeting down here in losers finals with Buku. Yeah, standing up in grand finals, waiting for the winner of this. All right, should be a hype one, guys. The Yotter one mirror. Yeah, that's true. The, the Yotter ones are out. Top tier is well represented here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. If you're not playing Yotter one, Tekka Blade, one zero player. Yeah, there's a zero, you know. If yeah. you're not playing these characters, don't show up. Okay, actually, we had Frank West in top eight, though. We Let's not Frank. forget. We did have Frank West. We had Frank West. We had Beautiful Joe. Yeah. We had, you know, Roll. Everyone loves Roll, right? Yeah, who doesn't love you Roll? You don't love Roll. I definitely do. I clickbait with Roll all the time. <laughs> it's my uh, ultimate tactic. Uh, play, the players are on camera. They're, they're, they're flexing over here. Yeah, they're getting ready. Showing off the FF merch. Kavis, I know, wants to make it back to that grand final spot. Yeah. But not if Empty Shiki has anything to say about it. Oh, there we go. Show, show the, show the logo. Yeah. Matchstick Melee helping out with the branding. All right, the, mu the music is pumping here in the venue. The crowd's getting loud. All right, pick a cool stage. Washing That's Shio. a good one. I like that stage. Yeah, yeah. One of the the classic stages from the first game, right? Washington, Kyo. it's from uh, Hurricane Follower. Right? Oh. So is that like a lore thing, like Washington and Tokyo? Tokyo? Yeah, I think it's, and uh, Ame is from America, and Horn is from Nihon, which is Japan. Oh, wow. I don't know why that's in the Hurricane Follower lore. I've never watched that show, but, you know, there you go. I like the character, though. I like playing the character in this oh, game. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We're juggling the assist and then just air back that thing to go back to neutral. KBs is so aggressive right now, getting the early unblockable yeah, relaunch time. Another VAR, yeah, bringing in Morgan. Ooh, Ooh oh, oh, called the rollout. Yeah, that was an ambiguous landing there. Empty Shiki can't take another hit of chip. Ooh, oh, from a lot of red life used there. Now he pops, the other man wanted out. He pops him on coming in. Yeah, the decision making in this game is just so challenging, you know? When you have all that red life, everything in your soul is telling you to raw attack, but I think against KB, he's not gonna let that fly. Yeah, that was nice for Messi Chiki, though. Just goes for a, uh, the thought that KB wasn't gonna be holding down back, and he was right. Went for a reset in the middle there. He's doing so much damage. Empty Shiki again, this is a tough situation. Like, it doesn't matter if you have burst when your life bar is getting so low, you know? Yeah, Soul Fist. KB's again, again, KB's willing to lame it out. Fireball Baroque facing behind. Wow, yeah, and you get a combo off this. Yeah, so that is another burst force. There is oh. the unblockable. That's what he's been looking for all these games. That full screen unblockable. Okay, wait just a minute here. No meter for KB. Yeah, not quite the right timing there. Was maybe predicting KB to try and snipe it out. Yeah, and good block. Needs to start getting some hits. Tries to confirm with that Morgan 3C. Such a great button for hit confirmers. Oh, the shell kick. Oh, sliding under everything. Oh, oh. Had the block on the overhead, but not the follow-up. Oh, there's, there is an unblockable and hit, but this is not going to kill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. KB's down, Jabs. Shiki says, yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, there was a chance there, you know, Baroque inhibiting the meter gain. Blocking KB from getting the burst, but KB is looking really solid. Yeah. Look at this intense stare down, man. Arms crossed and everything. Look at the, the smile from Empty Shiki, though. Empty Shiki looking happy, happiest a clam here playing. On uh, loser's side, this is uh, not quite for all the marbles. Like you said, this is yeah. three out of five. So we got some games to work with. Still got some time to work out the bugs, you know. Oh, wow! Yeah, the fireball there potentially would have messed things up. <laughs> Into your jab. Wow. All right, yeah, chasing the roll and Morgan just covering everything. Ooh, Ooh. Extremely ambiguous setups for Shiki there, but 
KB comes in with the unblockable. Nothing ambiguous about that. Yeah, it is 100% you are getting hit. Couple okay. of overheads. That was a good escape from Empty Shiki holding up, but KB's with these confirms. Yep, so consistent. VAR up to Morgan, taking the knockdown. Give go for some pressure. Wow, low that low. time. <laughs> Yeah, Morgan, we, yeah, well, some of the best 50-50. Yeah, yeah, you really expect her to go high because it's so satisfying wow. to do. Wow, cancels the launcher into DP. Yeah, KB's playing such good neutral, as usual. Trying to scissor kick his way in here is empty Shiki, but... Wow, another one. Crossover counter, yeah, Shiki has to burst that. A little too early on the unblockable, unfortunately, and KB's going to take that second game. One away from getting up to Grand Finals. What is this ultra wow, zooming? It's zooming in closer every time, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like the players are getting better and better at dealing with the, the Apatsu Man DP pressure. You know, KB's just pressing 2L, that massive hitbox. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Let the intro rock. Both of them walking forward. You think Yada one's fastest walk speed in the game? Gotta be up there, right? Uh, he's yeah. I think Zero's maybe faster. Okay, yeah, he's up there though. I really made you think on that one. We got we got too much hype going. I was like super zoned in on the game. <laughs> Yeah, huge chunk of red here for MG Shiki. This is tough. Once again, it's like, oh, oh yeah. ho, ho, ho. confirms right to that launcher. You were talking about so fast, you can confirm oh. up anything with it. Same and side. Babies. Looking back on his old form here, you know, we said he didn't look so dominant earlier on yeah. in the bracket as he does sometimes. Right here, feels like there's nothing she can do. Yeah, KB has just gotten so clean. The warm up is over. Now it's for real. Yeah, and Shiki knew that he had to block there. KB has been challenging the jab every time, but oh my God thought that he had a chance to challenge there, but no, KB shuts it down. Shiki yeah. does land a hit here, but uh, got a lot of work to do. So Shiki's done this a few times, going for like way a ton of reps on the loop because he knows KB's can burst. But I feel like you just have to go for the combo and force the burst. Yeah. The clocks. Shiki, really good awareness on those setups there. Oh my god, the oh no. I will simply press jab. The lock. Yikes! We are really out here jabbing. Yeah, I think he's seen oh. uh, that a lot of Shiki's favorite approaches were getting out, beaten out by those jabs, yeah. and KB is going to take it. Yeah. Goku, get back up. KB's just going to be nice and warmed up. I mean, this is three matches in a row now. Yep, yep. See, I mean, Buku's uh, Tekken Blade has been pretty dominant so far, but there's anyone who can take it down. It's KB. Of course, KB's with the uphill battle here. Going to have to win two sets coming from loser's side. Double elimination tournaments, so we'll have to see. Buku can hold strong. But yeah, KB is looking in in perfect form here. Now that now that a few matches have gone by, we're seeing what we're usually used to from KB. Immaculate play. Yeah, looking great out here. And once again, thanks everybody. Thank you for being here with us. It is Frosty Fasting 16, I think. Yes, it 2024. is. 2024. And it has been a, an amazing tournament like it is every year. Yeah. Not just for TBC, but for everything. What a killer event, man. You know, I always remember because <laughs> FF16 came out, you know, FF16's <laughs> been out for less than a year. And oh, now true. we got Frosty Fasting 16. FF16. So uh, we just have to hope that FF17 comes out before next year. Sure, they don't take that long to make those games, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one a year. Yeah, they really got to get out the old little <laughs> SNK strategy. Yeah, exactly, one a year. One yeah. a year, one a year. I remember when, when it was Frosty Fausting's 14. Yo, shout outs to the crowd. Yeah, big shout outs to the crowd. Look, you, you guys can't see the full angle here, but there are actually a lot of people. A lot of people, oh, like I yeah, said, standing room only back there. And this is only like the third or fourth biggest room of the tournament, you know? Like some of these other rooms are just packed. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. I mean, we start also two in the afternoon, right? It's not like this is prime time finals I time, know. you know? No, it's crazy. Glad to see so much support for these old games. Hell yeah, yeah. hell yeah. 
shout out, of course, to Vortex Gallery for putting on all these yes, for having us. programs. Right yeah. They've stepped up. I mean, they uh, they used to do just like a different, like a separate thing at Evo, and now they've stepped up and they're doing these official side tournament programs, really taking care of, making sure all the, the I's are dotted, the T's yeah, are crossed no, yeah, on all these events that sometimes are a little like the Wild West in the past. Yeah, it's really awesome that these, uh, these less common games are uh, getting some shine, so I really yeah, love that. Absolutely. All right, we are seeing what, I mean, why mess with what works? Morrigan has been carrying, basically. Yeah, absolutely. We saw the Botsy maybe once, twice. Yeah, and that there. was the one that he lost. Yeah, yeah the, right? It was Botsy like, against Empty Sheiky. Leave him lost. in the dumpster. Yeah. All right. Hey, well, this is going to be three out of five. And because KBS is coming from losers, if you're not familiar with the format, he's going to have to win a three out of five set to put Buku into losers and then win another set to win the tournament. Yeah. Buku, meanwhile, just has to win this first set, and he will be your champion. I want to see someone break the bridge. Oh, yeah, we're on the bridge. <laughs> it could happen, too. Blade is a good bridge break oh, character because yeah, the helm breaker. Break, yeah. All right, we're throwing lances. There it is. There's that helm breaker. Mm -hmm. Jab pressure overhead. So nasty. Uh, again, that fireball makes it so easy to pick up. Yep, now we got to chase the tech. Yeah, it stayed in the corner, and Ooh, KB's gets oh. over the 4 H. Went for the late broke unblockable, but KB's just mashing. We got trades going on. You don't see that too often. Both of them throwing out projectiles, but ooh, Helmbreaker stops the approach. Challenging with the jab. I mean, can we see how powerful these jabs are? Yeah, and there is the VAR. Gonna be taking Blade out. The very last hit killing, and now you getting hit already. Just a short combo. What's the mix? <laughs> yeah, expecting the DP there from Buku, but uh, didn't come. Yeah, Morgan chilling back, throwing fireballs. Now wants to anti air with that launcher. Nice, nice, nice. Gets over it with the Tatsu. Does manage to force the one burst out of KB. So we're at least meter even at this point. Yeah, double jump cancel to be able to block that. Oh, Ooh. nice. Ooh. One of the myriad applications of Baroque, making your fireball safe there. Oh, so nasty. Yeah, using Morgan to create mix here, but okay. Yeah, nice. Good dog. Uh, yeah, the Fat KBs. Unblockable. That's one of the things in this game. If you uh, have your back to the corner, even if you have an opportunity to hit, sometimes it's better to get out of the corner <laughs> yeah. first because you can get bursted back into the corner yep. and then die. And it turns out the burst gives you the red life. You need the red life, mm. the Baroque. The Baroque gives you the unblockable. It's the perfect storm. Like I said, it's snowball mechanics. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> So we're facing off at round start, but you can see Buku has to be a little more defensive here. Buku oh does my not. God, gets right behind him at the start of the round. Catches him out, throwing a lance. Yeah, okay, this is the knockdown though. Yeah, Buku gets to fight out of the corner now. Good blocks, good blocks. Yeah, not uh, any red life to cancel that, so. Wow, actually beats out the alpha counter? A big stanky leg coming in. Nice. nice. Yeah, gonna have to burst that. Four meters now for KBs. Big meter advantage. Jab, jab, jab. Look Threat. at the pressure. Wow, good block on the overhead. Nice Defensive throw. Luffy finding a good spot, but Morrigan with the sandwich again. It's too much. Yeah, and you can see, you know, oh yeah, wanted a broken blockable, but hit him out of the air there. Nice, the double launcher combo. Morgan coming in, dealing huge damage. Yeah, he stayed in the corner, but anti-air launcher. Launch and VAR back into Yadder once. We got this nice order here. Wow, that was so tricky on incoming. Yeah, shout out to Buku for blocking it, but yeah. uh, you know, still in a tough position here. The eventual open up is real. Checking with Crouching Short here. Ooh. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get so many, how many, like five of those? <laughs> yeah, that's a punch. That's how you know this is an anime game. Ooh. Oh, falling Cruising jab. Cruising back over. You know, it's his cat, I think. Oh, oh it's his water cat. bottle, yeah. yeah. Show, like, us, show us the cat. Thought he was IRL. Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's cat. <laughs> 
All right, yeah, one more game for the reset here from KB. He's looking unstoppable. I mean, yeah, come back out here. After that uh, loss in the first side, it looks like nobody can touch it. Wow, just challenging right back. Says if you jab, I jab. Yeah, second overhead hits. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, Morgan kind of messed things up there. All right, Buku finding some good spacings at least. Wow, it's yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah, going for the relaunch. Never mind going for the unblockable. Yeah, that reset. Some of that Yatter 1 privilege. Wow, that was nasty, the slight delay. Yep, getting as much damage as possible into, into the level, level three. 3. And KB's, yeah, really wants to reset this bracket ASAP. Yeah, this is looking unstoppable right now. Buku's going to have to take a breather. Other side, overhead. Yeah, play for rope. Gets out of the pressure, at least. Ooh, good navigation, getting around the fireball. Blocking the ant here, but he's jabbed. It's just the name of the game. Yep. Ooh, movement, movement. Ooh, went for a oh, relaunch, reset. Who's to say? Doggy incoming to OTG. Oh, it no. missed. He went for the, and we got that fancy stuff, the TK Tatsu. The crowd pops off for the drop combo that. from KB. Did you see that throw tech? Oh, oh my god, the launch, they're coming through, and KB laughing that one off. Yeah. Resets the bracket. I'm clapping now. <laughs> KB's joining on the Let's Go for the chat. The score is 0-0, zero, zero, guys. Yep, the pressure zero, is zero. on. I mean, I really hope Buku can come up with something here. Yeah, me too. It's not looking great in that first set, if we're being completely honest. Yeah, KB's just, just looking on another level. Yep. Do not let this man get cooking. Something bad is going to happen. If he took the small breather, let's see if Buku mm. can recover. Oh, we're back to Washington. Okay, yeah, using the Solfus, but okay, some mash jabs there. Yeah, it's gonna get the relaunch here. No, goes for a reset. Yeah, KB knows that cross up setup. Wow. Nice, a little bit of a delay. All right, Buku's off to a strong start here. Yeah, had to use the burst there, did KB, so in an uncomfortable position, any hit could be a dead Yotter one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nice <laughs> back throw. Throws instantaneous in this game. Really good defensive option. And fades the raw head. tag. Yeah. Not that much red life, so this Baroque isn't going to add that much, but it does prevent the meter gain, which means yeah. he's not going to be able to burst. Actually true. Super important. Here is the level one. This is a crash intrude. Cash is on a little bit. Still got three meters left, so that's fine. Oh, there's one. It's the OTG. Okay, yeah, Shell Kick is going to connect. KB's opting to... Wow! The turnaround of that momentum was so crazy. KB's trying to slow it down. Give that Gatter one some time to recover. Yeah. Buku just chilling. Yeah. He's kind of walking. KB's back in the corner for a second there. Really trying to figure out what his spot is, what he's looking for here. Yeah, I saw that 3C at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. KB yep. does not want any approaches coming in. Buku seems to be struggling to find a way in. But it's still a massive life lead, you know. Not obligated to be the aggressor. Yeah, for sure. 50 seconds left on the clock. Controlling the approach angles with the Lance. <laughs> okay. Yatter One has regained all of his red life at this point. We'll see if KB tries to uh, tag back out. Wow. I mean, all these little hits are adding up so much. Oh, and nice gets block. the punish. Yes. Forces the burst out of KB's. He's almost back up to another one, though. Morgan did a good job of metering as well. There's the unblockable, and the yes. other burst comes out. Boop. Oh, that was so close to Morgan dying to that pizza cutter. 
both assists coming out. First one, no. we got it. Oh no, a little bit too late. I think that would have worked. Oh, really look nice. at that cross. Nice! And right. the air down jab. Yeah, it's got a good hitbox for that. He points it up. Wow, another good throw yeah, here. Throw. Woo! We're just right. lancing. Buku though, just a couple chips away here though. Whoa, the team high yeah, 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 Let's go. All right, Buku. Gets one up on the board. Doesn't want to go out like that, you know? Yeah, great start from Buku. I mean, we've been talking about how this is a momentum game. And it was really just one hit from Tech of Blade. And then it's like, wow, the round is getting so difficult all of a sudden. I mean, both of these players know if they get that first hit, exactly how to turn that yeah. into a character death. All right, Antier by the fireball. Oh no, yeah, I see there. Sandwich. KB landed the first hit this time. And, and gets the unblockable. unblockable like you reset. said, they, they have a path. They have a path to victory, and they're following it. Yeah, you don't want to burst. It's Not too quite late death yet, but then we get the Morgan pressure. Okay. Good blocks. Oh, yeah, Ooh, I like the 3C. You can see Buku's trying to chicken block, and KB's is punishing that by utilizing his launcher with Morgan. Tech of Blade is so low. Yeah, uh, gonna maybe try and get into Ryu at this point. Yeah, you might be able to tag onto a fireball. Okay, he doesn't use the assist there, though. It's gonna be a <laughs> with, second. Flip command grab. <laughs> Just walking forward. Tech, tech a blade. The opposite walk speed from the other one. I like it using the 100 hands. Ooh. Oh, oh, burst. Firm. Yeah, has the burst there if he wants to save the blade. This is the assist, which means that we're on chip health for Blade now, and a Morrigan out. He's gonna be throwing out a lot of fireballs. Too. Yeah, the, for deep, the chip. Deep. Yeah, smart stuff by KBs. Mm -hmm. Oh, good block though from Buku. You can see Buku's just really holding on back. I think. Oh, he actually got him. Okay. okay. Yeah. Not a ton of damage on that super. Oh my God, the six H anti air. KBs, you are ridiculous. Nice DP though, Buku. Not giving up. Yeah, this DP's is what I like to see. Out. The movement is so crazy. Yeah, Buku getting low. It's getting scary. KBs has so much meter. This comeback is looking really tough. Oh, uses it all right there. Yep, there's the low jab pressure. And there's the jab. Level three for the burst bait. That's going to go right through. And we are back to 1-1. One, one. Not the ducks. Not the ducks. The ducks are out. Looking characteristically strong once again. Yeah, it's 1-1, one, 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 one. It's 1-1. One, one. You did not win two yet. Don't get too <laughs> ahead of yourself. Calm down. Or maybe the last one. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, I mean, that first hit determines so much. Hades was the one to get it last time with the Morgan assist, but let's see if Buku can be the one. A little bit of a hesitance oh, no. there. Oh, yeah, he had a chance. But now Hades is back in there. Yeah, the knockdown. Keep the other one out. We're gonna see. Okay, just really burst. burst. Ooh, doesn't cancel into anything. Nice timing on that jab there from KB. <laughs> KB's getting those anti air six H's all day. Mm -hmm. Oh no, not another Morgan fireball. Now there's no burst available. Ruku is gonna lose the first. Yeah, losing the blade. Looking like a quicker round here for KBs. Yeah, there's an incoming cross up. Really hard to block in this game. Oh, good block on that one, though. Jab, jab, jab. Yeah, putting the pressure on, but Buku knows. KB says, like, really starting incorporating that more and more into his game as this goes on. He knows that people don't want to just keep holding down back. Oh, okay. Yeah, he still has burst. Yeah, yeah. nice extension. Oh, unblockable. Oh, my God. Look at the amount of red life. And KB's just 2-1 up, one game away from taking this tournament once again. That was crazy dominant. I think 
You know, obviously we're seeing traditional KB's dominance, but also the Morgan assist is doing so much work. Almost every single round has been won off of a hit from that assist taking the first character. Yeah, I mean, I do feel like the Morgan assist pick has been forced by people leveling up, not yeah. allowing him to just go with, like, sort of an easier shell to do more damage. Right, with. yeah, it's too yeah. hard for him to get this, the hit solo these days. Yeah, jump cancel to be safe against the burst. Now Buku down two meters, not where you want to be. Such a nice confirm there from KB. Yep, KB's applying the pressure on Wake Up. Gonna get the confirm and off the fireball. Okay, wait, this is huge. Crossover counter. What? <laughs> Somehow goes the other way. A little bit janky there. KB gets the relaunch. Oh, double relaunch. These combos are hard, folks. They are into Morrigan to take the knockdown. And oh, air no. launcher. He jumped out of the mix up and got launched. Buku needs to find a way to save this Ryu. He's going to die to chip. Yeah, yep. there it is. Pac-Man Blade coming in. Oh, so not bursting the, the dead body for there the unblockable. There is the unblockable coming out. They are into Morgan. It's not quite going to kill. Crossover That's counter, though. Who oh. drops it? Oh! Okay, Yada he's still alive, he's still alive. He's, it's tough, oh. and there it is. KB's gonna do it. We were all feeling the fear when both characters were getting hit. Yeah, the crowd was going wild there once we got that in. But KB does end up claiming it again. So shout out to your TVC, Frosty Faustings. 16 champion, <laughs> what number KB's. KB's the GOAT. Yeah, hug it out, boys. Hug it out. Yeah, shout out to Buku, made it really far. I think this is the best show I believe. Not 100% on that, but uh, great showing from him all day. And all the players really look just amazing out here. Yeah, amazing stuff. What a showcase of the game this was. Shout outs to the crowd for showing for showing up. The crowd was on their feet by the end. That was so hype. Shout out to you guys at home. Yeah. For tuning in to watch some TV. Absolutely. You guys get it. This game is hype. This game is hype, and I'm glad everyone uh, sees that. The crowd was crazy today, and we appreciate all you at home, just like Rob said as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, with that, I think uh, we are probably just about good. I need, I know I need to go hand out medals to people. But, uh, yeah, thanks again as well to Matchstick Melee for doing uh, a great job with the stream here, as always. To Frosty Faustings for putting on a great tournament. Vortex Gallery for helping us with the side. Uh, tournament and you. <laughs> Viewers like you. You. <laughs> Bye, everybody.